Good morning, righty. There's a right change of plan. We've been told to go ahead with the tops. So basically we're just gonna be using this Indian sandstone all the way around. So uh, it's 450 mil wide. So we've got these 900 ones. It's gonna cut all these in half. And then yeah, just go around and try and get them up, get it all topped. We'll try and get it topped to at least this bit here. Get all that done. So yeah, keeps changing. Morning, Cam Cam. Cam is smashing on with uh, lots of loving, lots of loving. But now it's starting to go off really well down here now, really well. But like I say, we're going to start down here with the tops. I think it's just uh, to use up the tops. I think the tops will look good. It's a nice neutral colour, so I think it will really go with the wall. It's just, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. All we know is that I believe you know, the client just wants a, a nice flat top. Um, just like a, a massive garden table, it's been described as. So, It'll go nicely with uh, the green stone and the lime and stuff. But yeah, so that's it today. Like I say, we was going to start in that corner over there. But um, as you can see, there's a, just a bit more groundworks going on. So we're just holding off that for a minute. But yeah, no, it's all good. I think they've just uh, changed the angle. They're trying to get a, a dead right angle in that corner. So just so we're uh, keeping busy, we're just going to, like I say, got all the tops there um, already. So yeah, just going to start cutting. And then, yeah, crack on. Try and... Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. Look at this geezer. He loves it. But yeah, no, so we're just going to, uh, like I say, cut these 900s in half because that's perfect 450, which is what we want for the tops. And then we've got some 6x6 there, 600 by 600s and then some smaller ones, well, six by 300s, which we can use, but I'll probably keep the uh, 600 by 300s for um, the curves. And then the little ones, I don't know what we're gonna use really for them, probably won't even use them, so. Righty, anyway, so yes, that is the plan of action. Let's crack on with that. And uh, yeah, see what happens. Let's go, baby. Let's go. refreshing can't beat a bit of green tea with a lovely bit of lemon righty we are cracking on with these tops uh just coming on to the first curve uh which is yeah it's a bit fiddly because basically the brief of the tops is as random as possible they don't want the same angle tops going around that because it's like a perfect 90 degree angle that they don't want the same curves and um, the same tops well the same the same angle of tops going around we've been told basically as random as possible exactly same with the straight bits of the tops so like you know we want with the tops basically we've got two types really uh, we've obviously got the nine the 900 millimeters by 600 millimeters we're obviously cutting in half so we've obviously got 600 and yeah 600 by 450 um tops 
the 600 by 600 slabs because basically in the packs on the the sort of indian sandstone packs you get um you get three types basically uh, four types actually four different measurements you get a 300 by 300 you get a 300 by 600 you get a 600 by 600 and a 900 by 600 so basically the 300 by 300 we are just totally forgetting about uh the 300 the 300 by 600s we are cutting the 600 down to 450 because that's the width of our wall so obviously you know the length is going to be well yeah the width of the wall is obviously 450 so you're going to have 300 obviously you know 300 width wide tops going on top then you've obviously got your 600 by 600 so we're having to cut down them to obviously one side to 450 so you've got 600 by 450 and then you've got your 900 by 600 so we're obviously just cutting them straight in half so we get the same as the six by six hundreds so they'll be 600 by 400 as well so we've got two types of stone really you've obviously getting rid of the 300 by 300s so we've got a 600 by 450 and then we've obviously got a 450 by 300 so we've only got two different types of slabs for like the straight bits mainly um so what we're doing is obviously like a big one small big big small small big 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 you know what i mean it can't just be like big 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 small big big small if this makes sense um totally random that is our brief from the project manager and the client so yeah so it's all well and good for that because it's all nice and easy to mix up the straight bits but when you come to the curves they want like sort of not bigger stone but we can't put loads of little ones in there do you know what i mean it's like quite you got to get a big one so it's just sort of working it out and that but it's all right because you know as long as you keep your 450 width it's just doing it you know but we know we're getting by it's just obviously because they want it totally random we can't we got to basically make sure we don't get two of the same stones to near each other at all um they've got to be totally it's got to be totally different so one curve's got to be totally different to the other so if you're going to put like sort of three or four stones to make up that curve you can't put you can't put three or four in the other, you know what I mean? It's got to be like two or five or something, you know? So it's making it slightly harder, but we'll, we'll get through it, like I say. So we're just hitting that first curve now, and then we're going on to another straight, then we'll hit that other one. So if we get, you know, get that curve for the first curve, then the straight, then to the second curve, that'll be good really for a day, because it is, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, yeah, a bit more tricky, but we get around it. But no, it's, I personally, I weren't too sure on... The uh, Indian sandstone tops, when I first saw them, I thought it might look a bit, you know, you've got like a quite an old looking wall, which is obviously a new wall, but obviously it is naturally look like older looking with them lovely Christine flat tops. But actually now they're on, I think the neutral colour really goes well and it really blends well with the wall. So I think after six months to a year, it's going to be, they're going to weather lovely and I think they'll really come together nicely. So no, it's good. Like I say, it's quite, you know, and in a day, it's what the client wants. That's, it's their wall. So happy days in it but it's just good to actually like actually yeah you know it does it will look quite nice and um really with that greenstone as well because it's basically like bricks unless you sort of did a king and queen style with so big small big small or whatever you can't really sort of traditionally cock and end it you can't you know what i mean but so i think a flat top and also the, what the client wanted was obviously just areas just the, flat top you could put pots on them they basically described it as like a big garden table um so you know leave your glass of wine on there or i like say pots so flat tops are quite good i traditionally like cocking in uh but it depends on what stone every stone is different and i think with the sort of stone like that the blockier stone you need like flat tops just look a lot better because like the, the stone's not naturally like slim and like, i think cocking in obviously looks a lot better with slimmer stones personally um but yeah it's all personal preference you can have whatever top you do you know what i mean at the end of the day seals the top and happy days so yeah so it's all going good like i say we're just cracking on with the tops today um obviously letting the ground workers get that area sorted hopefully well we'll probably actually finish the tops and then move on to that corner now and just get that sort of up to that step area where we've been building recently up to scratch with the tops and the first step area get all that stepped and done because the steps are going to be the exactly same as the tops um all in that sandstone so yes so we probably finished that whole and that could just be signed sealed delivered i'm yours um off you know what i mean totally 
sort of signed off and then everyone's happy and then we can just go on to sort of the other phase going around the property so yes it's all go um yeah like you know we're just cracking on with it and uh, lots of cutting lots of yeah measuring stencils templates oh it's like being back at school but anyway i'm gonna finish my tea and then let's crack on this afternoon and let's see how far we can get lovely jubbly let's crack on <laughs> Tuesday done, uh, we got to the second curve, um, which was great. So we haven't pointed it. Uh, we're gonna crack on with that first thing in the morning. We just wanted to keep going till we used all the uh, muck up and just get it done. So yeah, lovely, like I say, we've just got uh, the step area to do and then a little bit of wall that side. Tomorrow's just gonna be starting the other side, finishing the tops, getting it all pointed, obviously put the steps on um the rises that are already built and yeah so a few little things to crack on with but hopefully tomorrow we will complete that side and then like i say the ground workers are smashed on today and pretty much prep that area so we can just fly on so a little bit of a delay we've spun it around and obviously made it productive so that's all good that's always uh good you know it's always great when that happens so yeah no lovely jubbly anyway i'm gonna crack on home like i say tomorrow's wednesday halfway through the week boom snap thank you very much for watching if you haven't hit the like button cringe hit the like button it really helps <laughs> and uh yeah so anyway yeah take care over and out and i'll see you in a bit <laughs> 